the intro. <laughs> oh no, I'm going out. That's bad. <laughs> Hi guys! Hi guys! We're here today. What day is it, Adam? Ooh. Hump day! Hump day! Hey! We love hump day, don't we? Because yeah. what do we get to do on a on a hump day? Hump. No. No. <laughs> Not <yet. laughs> we get to work, of course. Um, yeah, so what we're doing today, we're doing EICR remedials. Mm -hmm. We've got loads of these little down lights, they're rubbish, not fire rated. Um, and we need to change these out. So they're, they're the classic fittings that we got there. And we've got a stick some white on there. The hole behind is about a 56 mil hole. And for the H2s we need to do, was it 67? 60, 64, 64? 72. Something like that. I know my H2 hole saw is a 67 mil. Mm -hmm. So we're going to find out how do we make the hole bigger when there's already a hole there. Mm-hmm. Be an interesting one for you. Yeah, the thing is we don't normally like making holes bigger, do we? <laughs> Adam, you started already. <laughs> I can't help myself, mate. <laughs> Today is a really important special day. Why is that, Adam? Because we're gonna be having the mugs displayed on eFix tonight. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well you would have already seen Gaz on eFix. If not, I'll put a photo up somewhere and it will show you the mugs. Yay. And today's a, a day I think we should have. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. <laughs> Adam, did, did, did you bring your good vibe? I did. It's here. Where? It's a can of good vibes. That is, that's <laughs> crap, mate. You need to, give me that. I'm going to put it in the sink. That <laughs> hard is to take bad juice. crap, isn't it? It's hard to take juice. Where's, where's your can of Fosters? That's what you need, that's what you need at 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, so I've already had no, one. No. I've got a lot of beat me up. No. <laughs> no, we haven't. We haven't. We haven't. We haven't so right, so we'll catch you in a minute. We'll show you what we're getting up to. We've made a little bit of a boo-boo. We didn't ask the customer where the consuming it is. So I ain't got a clue where it is. Not out there, up there. I reckon the garage, mate. Behind door, behind door? Not behind door. Surely under the stairs. Under the stairs. Nope. Mm -hmm. Behind the stairs, no. Adam, I really wish I, I knew where this uh, consuming it was. Yeah, me too. But I don't have a clue, though. <laughs> We're gonna have to have a, have a bit of a dob, double about, aren't we, and scrabble for it. <laughs> Adam, your <laughs> jokes are rubbish. <laughs> no, I've learned from you, mate. That's why. <laughs> it's gonna be one of them days, isn't it? Yeah. Right, come on. Where's this consumer in it? Where is the consumer in it? Oh, is he in the Adam thinks it's in the garage. Oh, there's no way of getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> the garage is locked, so we're live working. No, we're not. We're not, we're not. I think I remember it was in the cupboard. <laughs> it's definitely not in there. No, it wasn't in the cupboard. I reckon it's in the garage where we can't get it. Where's the consumer in it? I can't remember where. You work on so many houses, you can never remember where the consumer is. Learn of the day. Learn of the day. Always ask the customer. Yeah. Not in there. Not in there. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, I'm coming. What do you reckon? <laughs> where is? Where is the consumer in it? It's in the garage. Is it in the garage? Yeah. Stick a bit of light on. Where's the light? Mm. Right here, is that it? Hey. There he is. TNCS. 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 Adam reckons. What do we reckon? Is Adam right or is he wrong? It's in the neutral block. So it's in the neutral block. So is he right or is he wrong? Comment below. Oh, anyone know what make or breakers these are? Because I never have a clue. Because it's not on the Facebook groups every day. I think it's the pack the new Pac Man make. Steeple people, isn't it? No, you're not. <laughs> fucking <laughs> take your stress out on me. Yeah, this. it's fucking steeple. Adam just ruined my joke. Yeah, again, he's like he's ruining my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. So you got lights, shower, cooker, sockets, garage, wood hitter, lights, lights. So I would say it would be one of the lights. 
We'll flick off all the lights. Ooh, stop. Hello. Ah, I don't Hello. like the dark, Doctor. Ah. Right, so we're taking these old ones out now. Yep. We're cutting them down. Um, because what we've got to do is, as we've already said, make the hole bigger. So to get it out, we have safe isolated it and made, all, made sure all the power's mm -hmm. off. So I know that it's not off, so I'm not even going to touch it with my volt stick because it is off and it is isolated. So a little bit tight, pull him out like that. And then what we want to do is make sure we've got enough slack, plenty of slack on the cable. So the next thing to do, is we get our cutters, the old friendly Knipexes, we chop him, put him down like that. And the next job to do is to tape it because what we've got to do is push this cable back into the hole um, before we cut around it. So we don't want to lose the cable, hence why we're going to tape them up like this. So tape them. So it's taped up like that, and then we just a case of tucking him in into the ceiling. Not too far, but just far enough he's going to be out of the way when we cut. So when we go in with our hole saw, we're not going to damage it, are we? That's right, yeah. So he's just Perfect. tucked out of the way, but not so far that we can't get him again. Oh, there he is. Oh! And what do we have here, Adam? We have the end of the line, Dean. Come on. What's, who's the um, boys to men? Boys to men. Now that we end of the, the line. line. Now we're at the end of the line. And there's only one down light to go. Why, <laughs> why is that important, Adam? That why is it important? Mm. Because we know that that is the last in the radial. There is no further downlight after this gentleman here. And we can test from this point. What are you up to, mate? What are you doing? What we've got here, these are, this is our H2 downlight hole. 67 mil, is it? 76 mil, close enough. 76 mil, and obviously that won't fit in there. That's too small. Now, if we were to just go straight in like that and cut that, you'd be like... <laughs> Yeah, everywhere. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we have a, there's two ways of doing it. I'll see if I can show you both ways. First way, and my, my preferred way, is getting a um, template. Yeah. Just a bit of MDF. Put it onto the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Centralise it over the hole. So he's lined up there. Yep, lined up perfectly over the middle. Yeah. And then what we do, this is just for illustration purposes. I'm, I will put the um, daily back on. But you literally go in like that. Yeah. And then hold that steady, spin it around, and that is not going to go anywhere. Ah, uh, I right. see. So that is basically so we don't get the wiggle. wiggle. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't use that, you're going to be like, Shh. <laughs> it's going to be massive. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we go in with our hole saw on top, on top of that. Where did you first hear about the daddy? I don't know. It was a YouTube. Well, what happened, I first heard about the daddy, or daddy, when um, it was a tool that a YouTube um, electrician used, and guess what I done? I went out and bought it. So, <laughs> not, usual, normal mate. for me, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, we oh, no. So, and then you got the daddy in there. Yeah, the daddy on. He's in there. Yeah. Hold it steady. Yeah. Oh, right, we'll redo that. So that's what fill us up. We can cut it. Right, and then we put the. Uh... <laughs> and just like that. And there you go, you've got your perfect hole. Nice one. Enough bigger, big enough. There you go, that's what's left over. Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah so, so what I'll do. Perfect, that's mate. That's it. I, I, won't, um, I won't take this off, Adam. Adam, don't, don't film this bit. Don't, don't, film, don't film this bit. I'm just going to take it off, OK? Should right. we cut, we cut, we'll cut it out. We'll cut it out. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. First fuck's sake of the day. Fuck's sake, mate. Fuck's sake. Now we've got a hole. We put our cable through. Yeah. What are you done with the cable, Adam? Fucking nothing, mate. Oh, for fuck's sake. So for fuck's sake of the day. Pound it, pound it, pound it. Hey. There you go. What you got to do now is terminate that. Job done. So we're doing another one. 
Yeah. It's important to keep a lot of pressure on, on, on the ceiling so that the whole saw don't move. Yeah. And get it running before, get the whole saw spinning before it touches the plaster. Yeah. Then it, it, it won't come off. Does that make it like cleaner? Yeah. Lovely. Hold it for a second. Hey. Oh, perfect. And there we go. Clean See? as a whistle. Adam? Yes. Yes, Peter. What have I just spent the last 10 minutes doing, Adam? <laughs> fishing a cable out of the fishing wall. Fishing a cable out of the wall, but why do we need to fish cables, Adam? Because in this in this um, installation, the cables are already there. So why do we need to fish <laughs> cables, Adam? Some twat, Adam, pulled it through by accident because someone said, make sure you give it, pull it, give it a bit of length. Yeah, well, come on. I got too much length, mate. He got too much length. He pulled. <laughs> Oh, he, was, he was like this, he was pulling it, pulling it, pulling it. He didn't realise the other one was going up. And I had to go and fish it again. No, no, not funny. Take it out of your wages, mate. I'm such a twat. You are. Too much length, mate. What we're going to do now, we're going to show you a different method of cutting the hole saw when you've got a smaller hole. So, I've measured this. This smaller hole saw fits into that hole perfectly. It's, it's as if somebody has pre-drilled it. Do you reckon they have? I, I don't know. No, I cut that bit out, mate. I did, we didn't film that, do you remember? Yeah. <laughs> right. So that one, we've got a small hole saw, fits in perfect, yeah? Yeah. And we've got a big hole saw, that's the size that we want for our H2s. Yep. This is what we do. We've got our arbor. Yep. Put a big hole saw on. Yep. All the way. So big one goes on first. Yeah, big one on first. Small hole saw inside. Small hole saw inside. Okay. And there we've got, can you see that? If you look at that and look at it sideways, you've got a little lip. Ah. And, and okay. that is like our little guide. Okay, can I do a top view as well? Yeah. So everyone can see. And is this like, for the apprentices, um, so that it creates a stability when it goes in. So it kind of guides it yeah. in and then chops in. So it's kind of yeah. th the existing hole yeah. goes in here yeah. and this chops the excess round there. So we've got so it's not going to wiggle around. And yeah. this is a, a different method of using the template. This is a preferred method. It's a nice, easy method. It works 100% every time. Cool. I'm still going to use me daily. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, I won't. I won't use my daily because then you can see. You sure you, see, you sure you want to go without a rubber? I'm going to go without a rubber this time. Okay. Uh, so that, that out inner one fits in perfectly. Uh, it's not going to go. Yes. It's not going to go all around. This is. Don't learn this at college. Yeah, you don't. You don't learn this at college. <laughs> That's the intro. <laughs> Oh no, I ain't putting that up, that's bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right mate. Yes, yeah, so now what we're doing, we're getting a bigger hole saw, put it on the bottom, on our arbor. Get them all the way on. Then what you need to do is you need to pack it out with a few, um, what do you call these? Penny washers. Yeah. Why is that? Because then it gives you more um, length. Basically, so that when it, you've got the extra length, it's going to feed into the hole better, is that right? Yeah. What I've done is I've gone with three penny washers, mm -hmm. just to give it a little bit more. Three deep, yeah? Yeah, it's, it gives it a little bit more out. So that, that hole saw, rather than being right in, rather than being right in and barely coming out, it's going to give it more lip, so it's going to be lot more like that. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, good side profile, yeah. Mm hmm. Got you. Epic. And then that should steady it when we go into the hole. Yeah. There we go. So now look at that, we've got much deeper oh, depth. Yeah, okay, that makes it so, so almost that's going in, well, we, if we weren't that doing yeah. that, but on a naught and. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got this, which is basically affecting it, like yeah. replacing that, yeah. isn't it? And then. Yeah, the main cut. Yeah. The um the drill bit in the middle is redundant, we're not using that at all. Yeah. But on then if you was going a fresh clean cut, you could effectively that'd be the guide. Is that right what I'm saying? Yeah. 
I'm going to do this without a, a what you want to call it on, so we can see what we're doing without a daily on. Right, you ready? Yeah. Get, get it running. There we go. Pristine. What we've done now, if you look around, we've put all the down lights in, all the cables are ready to go. What we're going to do for testing is we're going to find where the start and the end of the line is. So we will leave them down lights off and then we can test, make sure the cable is all right before we energize the circuit. Now, the way we're going to do it today is probably not the right cottage way. It's only me and Adam on site today. There's nobody else on site. So we're going to go around with a volt stick. People, people, People say don't use volt sticks because they're rubbish, but this is an easy way. I reckon this is a start of radial. So you keep going around until you find a live circuit. There you go, so you know that is your start of your radial. Turn the lights off and it's dead. So that's our first cable going in, yeah? Now I think we've got two sets of lights in here, if you might remember. So we'll go around, that's another start of cable. Oh, I think what they've done, I think what they've done is they've joined it in a JB up ahead and taken it to each of these lines and then spun it out to the other ones on the other side. It's not a uh, good way. Yeah. So this should be dead. Yeah, that one's dead. So it's basically splintered off out of the JB. Yeah, see that's live. So there's no rhyme or reason. It's, it, it's not going to be easy to test it actually. So what we'll do is we'll do a ZS at the end of the line. Which could be anywhere. Yeah. So this is, the, this how they've wired it is, is not the way to do it. It is, it is a way of doing it. It's not the way I would do it, no. It's not the... That one's dead. It's not a, it's not a simple way, is it? No. So what we're doing is, it's going to be hard, There's, there is no way we can do it. What they've done is they've come into a central location and just spiraled out to all the lights. That's how they've done this. Not my preferred way because I would have gone in and out every light. That's the way I would have gone. And then you'd have your start of radial and end of radial. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, nice and easy circuit to work with. But you just got to work with what you got. Mm -hmm. So... There are ways we can do it. Adam? Yes, mate. <laughs> what have you just done that I've just told you wouldn't be a good idea to do? Make a mess. Anyone know what he's done? Can anyone spot it? Can, can you spot it, Adam? Chop that. Adam? Cut the uh, cable. You've cut the cable. Yeah, because mm. it's easier for me. Is that? <laughs> is that? Is that? Is that what? You, yeah. Is yeah. That, right. I'm going to tell you, and I'm going to tell you this once, okay? Yeah. You've done fuck all wrong. That's what I'm like looking mm. at him. He's just such a. Yeah, I can't think. Listen, I, right? I thought it was like. No, uh, listen. Right. You got. To, you got to have confidence in yourself and say, yeah, you know what? Nothing wrong I've with that. Done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with good. that, doctor. No, it's alright. Get in there, mate. Yeah. Aren't I? Get in there. They're both cables are going through the same hole, which it's good to see, isn't it, Adam? Yeah, that's that's no boo boo. Yeah, so no boo boos here. I wouldn't have to do that, would I? Nope. Doctor wouldn't do that. But that's right. but you've been doing it for years, Doctor. <laughs> right, we I'm gonna do a little bet with you, with you Adam. A bet. Okay, a little little bet. Right, we're um gonna be on Efix tonight with our little mugs, little Doctor Electric mugs. That's unless Gaz has forgotten them again. No, yeah, he, no, he hasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he said that he's got them. So I've seen them as well in the Efix Studio on the um, yeah. Waco Ceiling Rose video. Those eagle-eyed people of you, he put one of our cups on where was it? The Waco? It was the Waco Ceiling Rose. Waco Ceiling. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, the Waco Ceiling Rose, the new one. What do you think about that? Awesome. I think that's it's right. it, that, it's one of those, isn't it? Say so it's going to save time. I know people go, oh, it won't save much time, but it will still save time. So we've got a, um... so Adam's back with me, today is Wednesday, he's back with me on Friday. 
Hump Day, and then it's Poets and then Day. It's, and then it's, what's Friday night? Poets Day. No. Friday night, night is pub night. Friday night is pub night, and pub night is yeah, Friday night. But it's not. It's not. I'm going to do a little, little, little bet with Adam, right? We've well, got um, 100, no, 150 subscribers we've got now. As of this morning. As of today. It's probably gone up a few now. How many subscribers you you think we'll get by the start of Friday morning? 250. I'm 250. going out, I'm saying 250. 250, yeah? I'm going 250. Right. I'll say 250, right? If it's 250, I'm going to buy Adam breakfast. Okay? You still owe me breakfast. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> what, what, fuck off. Because <laughs> so I haven't had the shop before my birthday. Oh, no, no, that's dinner in Wimbledon. Oh, that's dinner. Oh, yeah, that's the, yeah. Okay, Lunch so if all. we so if we get 250, you're going to buy yeah. me breakfast? if we get 250, to, sh to show... How much effort we both put in, you'll put in, I'm going to buy you breakfast. At McDonald's. McDonald's breakfast, his favourite. And I might let you have a little go on the slide. <laughs> oh, I'm right? sold. Okay. So 250, if, if it doesn't reach 250, then guess who's buying breakfast? Me. At McDonald's. So, do you think... But I will let you have a go on the slide as well. Oh, mate. Brilliant. <laughs> That's a deal I then, reckon, yeah? I reckon, I reckon, I reckon it'll go over 250, potentially. Fun. I reckon 250 is my, my conservative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'll be, if we got to 250, mate, I'll be buzzing. Yeah. Because it's like, it's going mad now. And it's funny because it's just me and you. Yeah. And I've only been doing this for like, since the start of college year. What's it like? So Adam went back to college Monday evening, was it? <laughs> yeah. What was it like going back into college? <laughs> It's a bit random, man. Like, uh, after you, you've been a YouTube star now. Yeah, well, the first thing Marcus goes, he's like, shout out, Marcus, was like, um, oh, it's Adam, the YouTube star. And then I was just like a little bit embarrassed. And then um, a couple of lads that I work with were like, oh, I've seen that video of you doing this, and I've yeah. seen that, and I was like, wow, this is, uh, this is crazy. It's mad, man. isn't it? Crazy. Yeah, crazy. It's good. Uh, thank you for loving the content. Mm -hmm. uh, as I say, if there's anything you want to want us to show let us know because yeah. we've got loads of different videos we mm -hmm. do during the week and we just pick a couple mm -hmm. that we think is going to make a good video yeah um, and we've got people that want to um come and do collabs as well yeah we've got we? a couple of people we've done one with kimmy which mm -hmm. you would have seen now because this this video yeah, is going to come out after mm -hmm. love you kimmy Top, top lady, top spark, she is. Kimmy. She is. Um, without saying too much, we've got a couple of collaborations in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. um, if there are any other YouTube stars want to do a little collab, let us know. We're happy to we love know, it, pop we? along. Yeah. We'll help you out. <laughs> it's a community thing as well, isn't it? Like everyone, it's good, yeah, when, it's good. when everyone kind of like uh, has a laugh together and chips in. And, and you learn, like we learned stuff off Kimmy, didn't we? And, and yeah. she learned stuff off us. Yeah. She even learned stuff off me. I know, exactly. Crazy. Crazy. It's good, mate. So, yes, mate. Loving it. Also, this week, I had my first teaching week at college, which yes. was real eye-opener. Eye it's really good. The, mm -hmm. the kids are doing, or not how to say kids, the students are doing testing and inspection, so they're doing their it's level three initial verification, and they're doing their fault finding. Mm -hmm. uh, quite interesting. I helped another group in the workshop this week as well. Mm -hmm. Smashing it and out. you know, I just I just fell straight into the role. It is the college that I went to when I was doing my apprenticeship and training. So I just literally went straight in. I know all the staff, and it's all the same staff. Mm -hmm. And they were like, "Oh, oh, welcome back, welcome to the team," and that. So really good. Dif different Loving college it. to that I'm at. Yeah, well, our one's better. <laughs> probably, it probably is now. And it's different this year. Yeah. I, I noticed this going into college the students are way behind where they should be mm. and it's not it's not really down to them because obviously we've had covid they've hardly been in the past couple of months a few months or whatever yeah and but the thing is i've said this before if you want to pass the course you won't let covid get in the way will you there's mm. loads of videos I, on youtube that's a good point because uh, when we was in college this week mate we've um Basically, basically, uh, bang! Ah, my balls! A, a lot of a lot of lads were saying, "Oh, I'm, you know, I don't really know what I'm doing for the exams that we got coming up." Yeah. But the co and you know this, the college can only do so much. They can give you the tools, i.e., the paperwork, to 
have a good go at studying yourself. But the real difference, and, and I know this, is yeah. it's the work you put in on your own. They, they, they are not in the business of spoon feeding nope. you like a baby. No. Nope. You're an adult, even, I know even on the 16, 17 year olds, they're, they're treated like adults to learn themselves, and that is the expectation. So anyone that thinks you should be getting it spoon-fed, it that ain't gonna work, man. No. It's down to you no. to put the time in, mate. I put time in every day yeah. to the point where it annoys my wife. So, you know, that that is because I want it so badly. Yeah. You know, if you do it, you do it like 150%. You, yeah. don't, do it. you don't go, oh, I might do it. You, you do it and yeah. and you have got to want it. Like you said, you got Gaz's videos, you got Joe Robinson's videos. You've got so much resource on the internet yeah. to be successful. So exactly. there's no excuses, no. none at all. So Adam, um, yes, this, we've got a radial lighting circuit here on a six cent. RCBO. Yep. What is the maximum ZS for this type of circuit? So maximum ZS is 1.37 ohms. You reckon it's 1.37? Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, let me just uh, let me just see. Let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. You can see there, what do we see? 1.37. 1. 1. 1. And then off to Nottingham. But but there's a bit of a problem, mate. What's that? That's a socket circuit. Uh, <laughs> that's a socket circuit on uh, 32 amp, I imagine. So yeah, so maximum ZS is 7.28. And off to Nottingham. And off to Nottingham. <laughs> 7.28 maximum ZS. So, so what we're gonna do, it, we're gonna to do a quick ZS after this, aren't we? Yeah, and then off to Nottingham. And off to Nottingham. Why, why do we keep saying off to Nottingham? As you can see, we've made made a little bit of a mistake with this one. Boo boo. Yeah, when you're holding the um, template in place, sometimes it, if you don't get it grip hard enough, it will come out, and this is what you can get. You can get like a big um, rim. Looks a bit rubbish, but it's nothing we can't patch up. So we'll just patch it up, and I'll show you what we do. Get a little bit of plaster. Keep your bucket underneath it because you'll. Hold it. First stroke is packing out. Mm -hmm. so you want to pack out the hole as much as you can. Yeah. Thing is, it's plaster, so it can be patched up. You know. It's a great thing, really, isn't it? Yeah. Get some on the outside. Get them into the holes. There we go, all the way around. Lovely. Then get a clean, clean knife and just scrape it off. Scrape off what you don't need. Mm -hmm. You see, see what it does? It's just ah, uh, packing them out. Yeah, perfect. Lovely. Now I'll just tidy up this hole around here. Do you reckon it will need another fill, or do you think you're ready to paint? Oh, I need to pack out this a little bit more. Some, sometimes it needs a little extra fill. Mm -hmm. so you just go around like that. Lovely. Let's take him off, take him off. There you go. There you are. A lot of this will be covered by the bevel, so yeah. we don't really need to worry about the inside bit of it so much because that will be covered by the bez bezel. bezel sorry. What's on a watch, Dean? Bezel. That's it. What's on a downlight, like, Dean? Bez bezel. Yeah. Bezel, bezel. Bezel, bezel. I didn't know you were a plasterer, Dean. There you go. And that's yeah. it. Multi-skilled, look at it. Lovely. It doesn't look 100% perfect, beautiful, but the, the, bev the bezel will cover all that. And happy days. As you can see, this is another downlight that we messed up on. It's quite easy to mess up if you don't get a good, good enough grip of the template. You can quite easily slip out and get a problem like that. Luckily, we know what to do. We can fill it in. So you, you'll see uh, there, there won't be any problem there. Okay, 
out a little bit. So, you, so yeah, what you do is you, first you pack it out, get loads in there, get your clean knife, scrape them off. Nice and clean. You see where they've uh, not filled the old ceiling rows there, don't you? Yeah, and what we'll do as well, we've got some left over, so you can see this little circle here, we'll just fill that in as well, just for the customer. We've got some left over anyway, so why not make it an extra job? Make it a bit better for them. Yeah, part of that customer service. Then all they've got to do is um, paint over it. Job done. Just keep taking a little bit off at a time, a little bit off, a little bit off. That's it. So it's just a little bit off here. And that's it, yeah. That's all we need to do, really. Lovely. Yeah. Another successful operation by the doctor. Yeah. Plastering. Yeah. And that's it. See, now look at that now. That might just need a little sand down, but you won't even know it's there. Making good. Yeah, good. Nice. Love it. What we're doing now. We're going to do a ZS at the end of the radials. We've got quite a few end of radials here, and what it's doing is it's making sure that you've got good earth continuity and a good earth fault loop impedance path um, for that circuit. So, what is the maximum ZS for this circuit, Adam? Six amp uh, radial lighting circuit. So that will be 7.28 ohms. Well done. How did you know that, mate? That's as if you just read it somewhere. Yeah, as if I just read it. It's really good. As if I just read it. He wouldn't do that, would he, eh? Nah. So, right. We're not going to, we haven't got any power yet, so let's put the switch on. We're going to do a ZS at the end of radio. So, we've got 246 volts, 50 hertz. What do we have? 1.04 ohms. 1.04 ohms. So, well within. Um, the 7.28 ohms. So what we're doing is we're using a free lead test to get our ZS and that will hopefully stop the tri uh, tripping of the RCBOs. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're on now. We just want to go and switch the light on. Indeed. And when they come on, we're making sure that we're well out of position a bit. We're not going to be, not going to be touching that whilst it's still live. Mm -hmm. So let's, have, let's have a look what we get. 1.06 ohms. See that? Lovely. Perfect. If you want to go and switch that off for me. Question, Adam. Yes, mate. Where can we take a ZS reading? At the end of the uh, circuit and at the board. At the end of circuit and the board and about in on that circuit, sort of in between. When you say in between, would you take a ZS in between? You take it at the end, you normally, because you you get the we whenever we do it, we always do it at the end of the circuit, don't we? Yeah. Because it's the max plus. Is that because it's got the longest R one and R two, so you get yeah yeah yep yeah, good read good good idea. But the thing is, what you want to make sure is you've still got a ZS at each of the points along the radial. Uh -huh. Which what could happen is. Uh, you might have had a drop turf or something, and it's in a connector block behind. Mm -hmm. So the connector for for this mm -hmm. uh, light fitting might not might not be connected to earth. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're testing to make sure it is connected to there, and uh, every point has got a good earth. So the way we normally connect them when we wire them, they you would because we're effectively chaining the radio along. Yeah. The earth continuity is is constantly going through so that's when why we can test at the end of the radial yeah. if you're using a spider method like this there's more chance of that breakage then isn't there potentially yeah yeah it's not as i say before this is not how i would wire up um, um it's not wrong with it the only downside i would say is that they've used a spider junction box and over time that's likely to fail whereas if you do wire it is as a regular radial where you're going basically daisy chain all the way along. Mm. If it does fail, then you, you're gonna be able to see straight away 
that's where it fails. It's going to be either that one or the one before where it's come loose. Mm -hmm. So you know pretty much straight away where the problem will lie. Mm -hmm. Same mm -hmm. with sockets. That's why we do a lot of sockets in radial. You will know exactly at the point where it's going to fail. Which makes sense, doesn't it? Because it's still, even though it looks like it's connected in series, it's actually connected in parallel, isn't it? Yeah. As we can see, the weather today in uh, Scotland is looking very gloomy and pretty shit. <laughs> Uh, if we look over to Dumfries and Galloway, going all over to uh, Barrow and Furness and Blackpool, over to the West Country, Western side, we can see that the weather and Covid is shit. <laughs> and in London, we love London, don't we? That's where Kimmy the Sparks is from as well. Yeah, come on Kimmy, we love London. I'm <laughs> from London myself. Yeah. And yeah, weather is um, shit. <laughs> and up into Northampton, where are we? Northampton, there we are there. And the weather is always sunny in Northampton. And look, outside. Yes, it's sunny, look. Hey. And over to Northern Ireland. If we take a look at Northern Ireland, they've got enough troubles over there as it is, so we'll just leave them to They're fight, fight amongst themselves. Pissed. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Dublin's always pissed. Yeah, yeah. They're always pissed, aren't they? Yeah. Dublin's pissed. Oh no, what fucking crap are we doing here? Oh look, we've got oh, oh! They're, they're trying to come into our weather map. They no. shouldn't even be there. We're not even part of Europe anymore. Question yeah. of the day. Question of the day. We've just done the remedials for an EICR for a house in domestic a pub, dwelling in a, in a public rental, private rental sector. Mm -hmm. How know. many years do we put on the EICR? Five. Five years. Are you sure about that? I'm 100% sure. Are you sure, even though this is a domestic dwelling? Yep, 100%. Why is that? Because it's a, a landlorded property, and actually, if we go by the book, we should be getting a new uh, inspection every time the tenant's changing. What type of inspection should we complete there? Should at least be a... Uh, Visual inspection. Visual. Yeah, well done. Cheers, mate. Learn from the best, don't I? What if we were doing an ERCR and we doubted whether or not the installation will last another five years? Then we can we, then we can pass it for the time that we think it will be allowed. So, for example, yeah, if you think it's got six months in it, then <laughs> you, would, you wouldn't pass it. it but yeah, a year, say, you'd give him a year. Yeah, you you can. You're the inspector, you can put a date of two years on the, on the test certificate, on the inspection certificate. Uh, they might not be so happy with that, but, you yeah. know. Or you could get someone to do it for 50 quid and they'll probably yeah. put it for 10 years. So. That's it. Okay. What? Go in, Jason. Yeah. How many years do we put on a property for an ERCR for a domestic setting? 10 years. 10 years. How many years do we put on a property for commercial? Five years. And what about industrial? Industrial, I don't know. To be honest with you, I wouldn't complete any ICR in an industrial setting because I don't have enough experience in that area. And that is the best thing to do. If you don't have the experience in that area, leave it alone. Let someone else do it who's more experienced. Just mm -hmm. stick to what you know, especially when it comes to electrics. Mm -hmm. Stick within your comfort zone. But we would like to do a bit of steel conjure, wouldn't we? Oh, I love steel conjure. I haven't done that since college. That's I thought I've just been, just been doing it at college. Love it. Love a bit of steel conjure. What about, what's, what do you call a green paste that you put on it? Lube. Lube. There is a name for it. It's um, bending paste. Bending paste. No. What is it? I can't remember what it's called, but it was named it. Someone help me out. Or oh, one of our tutors just said, just spit on it. Just spit on it and whack it in. <laughs> We're all done. We're all done. With the uh, EICR remedials, uh, fitting 20 down lights, fitting bonding labels. Mm, what else? Cooker socket. Cooker socket fixing. It was, it was loose, it was like. Uh, and that socket that was cracked upstairs. So we fixed all that now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good job, yeah? Yep. All right, easy do, enough. Do the honors. So let's see what they look like. We have tested it as you've seen. And there we go, now 
It's not bad, to be honest with you, look. It does. It's like bad. Put the ones on in here. Oh, just, yeah, Lovely. it does look bad. As, as I say, this is not my installation, so don't say they're wonky or not lined up right because I've literally swapped them out. In here, there are a couple, a couple that are down because you can see that you might not be able to see it, but the plaster around it is a little bit damaged. Um, so, what we've done is filled it in, given a little bit of time to settle, even by tonight, they'll be able to just push them straight up. Mm -hmm. Lovely, lovely. And good to go. It's all looking much better. Do you reckon that didn't work? Thumbs up from me. We've done a quick ZS, didn't we? Quick ZS. Don't have to. Nottingham. <laughs> In the Porsche. <laughs> the thing is, we can't even tell you what that means. Can't tell you. Can't tell you. One day, one day. I can't tell you that, but I'll, I'll, we'll do one day. I'll tell, one day. or if you speak to me in public, grab me and say, what does that mean? Quick ZF yeah, yeah. off to I'll tell, I'll tell you yeah. in, private, in private, I'm not yeah. pointing on YouTube what that means. Yeah. No, no, no. That's it. That's, yeah, you can't put that on YouTube. Nah, so. No, no, no. That's a, that's a trade show special. Mm. Right, we finished the work today now. Adam's mm -hmm. not with me tomorrow. He's back on Friday. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to film this next job we got on Friday which is a consuming change it's quite a tight job it's the one we've done a few few weeks ago you might have seen dodgy the, ICRs do, dodgy good. yeah I mean what ones that we've done so many ICRs lately <laughs> yeah, yeah it's the one where we had that thing that socket where you had a little bit of tape round and it was like dodgy <laughs> dodgy yeah I don't know if we're going to get to film that because it's, it's going to be quite difficult yeah. Um, coming up, we've got we've got what? many what's, what's in your bag, Angelinos? <laughs> what's in your bag, Angelinos? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Too young. No, no, no. I remember it. What was, what was it called? Stay with fucking bald guy, Little Britain, shooting stars, shooting stars. Yeah, God, I was I was like a kid when that happened. Yeah, I love Angelos Epithemia. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, anyway, that is totally weird. That come from. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway, job, jobs we've got on, got coming up. We've got a couple of contributor changes. I've got a job I, I, need, I can't film where we've got to go take down this. Oh, what is it? I'll, I'll put see if I can put a photo up at least of the, of the light. Do you think what you're we've got. A, Ah, the scaffold. Yeah, we've got to put some Nightmare. stair scaffold. Yeah. I'll see if I can get a picture. I'll see if the lady will let me just take a picture like that, just to say this is what we had to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't. There's yeah. a there's a fault somewhere on the lighting circuit, and we cannot find it. We tried all the. Um, but it's not just the fact that there's a fault. It's the fact that you can't actually get to the light mm -hmm, fitting, mm -hmm. can you? Because of the location that it's in. Yeah. Great big hallway with. Yeah. How would you describe it? Like banner? It's got like. It reminds me of this here. This people might know this. You know the film Scar Scarface, right at the end, where you've got the banisters, and he's like, he, he's sort of fucking, and he's like, ah, screaming. That's what the hallway's like. Yeah, it's big old ass. You can't. Yeah, you can't. It's not like you just put your ladder on there. But then the problem is the stairs are right in the way. Mm -hmm. It's the only way is a scaffold, really, isn't it? In there to get to the light fitting. Yeah. So we've got that. Uh, doing a kitchen refit tomorrow, quite an easy job. Next week, college Monday, and yeah, plodding yeah. around. And there'll always be a zillion new jobs coming as well. <clears throat> yeah, we're, all, we're always getting jobs coming in, oh, it's just non stop, mate. Non stop. Yeah, so that's it. All right. So, what we got to say then? Look Dean? forward to the fix tonight. Yes, so e fix tonight. You would have seen us being mentioned on Dutch Electric. If we get 250 subscribers by this Friday start of play. I will buy Adam some dinner, breakfast, sorry. So I'll be getting breakfast and dinner. Breakfast, and if it's not, then Adam and we buy, will buy me. So we'll see you then on the Friday. See how we go. So one thing left to say. Oh, Adam, Adam, you see the wind turbine just there? Yes. Is it a vertical axis wind turbine or is it a sock? horizontal axis wind turbine i'd say horizontal why because the axis is horizontal that rotates yeah 
We're done for the day. What are we going to say, Adam? Like, comment, share, subscribe! subscribe.